Hey yo, how's it going boys? What is up? So we're back once again for yet another full of break character impression. This time we have the final uh the final collab character, the special three collab characters getting full of break at once kind of thing. So now we have Joker as the last character. And uh yeah, let's jump right in. Alright. We we booked his ass. He went through lots of studying, burned a lot of books, so we can get him to hundred uh faster. Alright. Okay, so his first one is his Ogi, right? I finally got my third screen to work again, so I can finally just look kind of like close where the camera is. <laughs> um, his Ogi is all out attack plus plus. What does he add? End cooldown for Ihar. Eha? Yeah, Eha. That's his first skill. Cool. More Ogi! <laughs> Ah, shit, we Ogi again! Yep, Ogi, dude! Okay, so his level 90 is his first skill. His first skill now has damage is increased to 800% instead of 400%. Damage cap is also increased to 830,000 base cap. Previously at 440k base cap. And then he also gains 15% skill damage cap up stackable up to 45%. So that's three times. He needs to cast that three times to cap it. Sure. And it's indefinite, but it can be dispelled. Okay. Did they change his fucking bullet thing? 95 is this. Okay. He still uses one bullet. He starts the battle with three. He still can recover bullets. Oh, so he's shit then. <laughs> Damage increased to 200% from 100%. So damage cap is increased to 148,000 per hit. Previously 60k. So it ups is 5 hits. Also inflicts attack down stackable. Attack and defend down stackable. 10% each. So 10% each up to 30%. So this is basically permanent debuff I guess. I guess that's kind of cool. Because you can cast that after 3 times anyway. <laughs> Alright. And then level 100 is... Uh, I mean raid wide or not. It doesn't really matter too much <laughs> i mean this is dark we are talking about man <laughs> does dark actually need need debuffs when you have like you know <laughs> uh level 100 is the passive and level 100 upgrades 40 percent boost to attack and then 100 percent chance to critical for uh, 30 percent extra damage crit and 20 percent bonus dark damage effect oh so it's 20 percent echo so at level 100, his 40% boost is Perpetuity Modifier. Eh, I mean, it's okay. I still think the Lelouch is still better though. Yeah, I still think like, because this, this Joker can get obviously a lot more if you Ogi more often. Because his first skills gets resetted all the time, right? But I feel like a character like him doesn't seem to be beneficial at all. Cause like the I feel like his main issue was this thing. I feel like they he, they need to do more than just this too. <laughs> you can only do it once in the entire battle, right? Like yeah, you basically in a way you get it to thirty percent. Yeah, you're done, right? The the rest is like eh, sure. <laughs> I mean yeah, he could be a death fodder, but at the same time it's like uh. <laughs> Do you really need that though? I mean, I would still prefer Shalim though for a death order. Shalim death order is still better to me. She has a permanent debuff and she has like that third skill of hers is so much stronger and then lasts for like five turns or some shit. And then you can give someone to, you know, have like full dodge in that turn or whatever. I just find that character much better. I guess this is just for people who do not have like a proper death order, I suppose. But yeah, I, I def, I. I prefer using Shalim as like a death order if anybody's wondering like in comparison to this guy he can't be that guy obviously because you know you press this thing and then he's permanent already and then you can just kill him off I suppose because he's dark as well so he's guaranteed you can kill him with death it's also a debuff that works every single raid out there <laughs> so yeah this thing is useless as shit we all know this is never going to land uh, this Sukuda thing is like, sure. Yeah, then the only other thing he's really doing is just this. 
I feel like one of his main problems with this is that he's technically only casting twice at most, right? Because if he's one more shit, so every turn he can cast that twice. Yeah, that's really what he's just doing. Like after he does, he does this stuff. You can just, you're just really just spamming this thing, and then you're just. Yeah, that's it. There's, there's really not much else he's offering. I did not check this out. Okay, so... Turns out that his random bonus effect does get upgraded though. Previously, one of it was uh, from 30% double attack now to guaranteed double attack. Wow. Uh, then one, the other one is 30% attack up and now it's upgraded to 80% attack up. Then the other one is 1500 heal. And now it's double of that, so it's 3,000 heal. And then pre there's another one which is doing... Inflicting 30% attack down. But now you have 30% attack and defend down. And then the final buff is... Uh, Joker gains 40% repel two times previously. Now it's 60%. Yeah. <laughs> sure? <laughs> Sounds... Fine, but <laughs> that only applies to himself, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty sure that only applies to himself, so it's kind of whatever, too. <laughs> it's, it, it's like, yeah, on paper it sounds cool, right? But it's like, in in like a real world senior, it's kind of uh, nah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, I already have skill cap on his ass. Skill damage, dude. <laughs> Deal critical hits against foe with comatose. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. So, uh, does he need debuff success? Wait, is his third skill like hun not hundred percent uh, land or something? <laughs> it has to be right. <laughs> Wait, this has to hundred percent land the debuff, right? There's no way he'll miss, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it'll be really, really funny if this actually can miss, man. He can only do it three times because he's like maxed out at thirty percent, right? Each stack is ten percent, right? <laughs> There's no way he can miss that debuff, right? No way, right? Okay, I'm not going to level that, okay? <laughs> yeah, I am not touching this. I'm just gonna- wait. Against- okay, so only against foes in overdrive. So if he gets- f when they're- if they're, they're foes in- o when the, the bosses goes to overdrive, then only he gets this shit. You know, it's actually funny that- Guild War is really good for this kind of shit. Because the overdrive lasts fucking forever. <laughs> in Guild War, right, those bosses, the overdrive lasts a long time in comparison to like non-overdrive, right? Let alone break, obviously. So, <laughs> it's nice, but you, I don't see a character like him being used for Guild War though. Would you? I mean, you probably would. <laughs> Because, yeah, I suppose. I mean, yeah, you probably only use him as like a death order, I think. I don't know, man. <laughs> I was, I mean, he, dude, his EMP sucks, though. <laughs> yeah, his EMP is fucking trash, though. I'll probably still level his crit anyway. I'll level his crit and maybe like defense. Yeah, his HP, his HP and attack is not too bad already. With just a level 8 awakening. A balance, obviously. And, uh,. Decent ring roll, I guess. <sighs> I mean, to be fair, at least he's still someone. He's a lot more usable in compared in comparison to Sakura, obviously. <laughs> I just think Sakura is just like, oops, uh, as as another level of fucking uselessness, dude. Earring? I'm not wasting my earring on his ass. <laughs> I I I no yeah no I I don't really have a lot so I'm not wasting my earring on his ass <laughs> fuck fuck that shit. <laughs> you know what? Just for this case, I will use Jiki again. Okay, I'll use Jiki, but instead of six, I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put Joker in there. I'm gonna regret this, but fuck it, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a leech showcase now. Yes. <laughs> All right. I know I'm really gonna hate myself for this, but. Actually, you know what? I should I I should have put 
I should have put Leech in front. Like, uh... In position 2. I think Joker should be better off in position 4 or something. Ah, fuck it, I guess. Sukuda, man. Sukunda, I mean. Wow, well, one more, dude. Yeah, and not to mention if you do that, right? The animation is slow as hell too, by the way. Isn't it? The one more thing? Instead of like... You know, it's like, instead of... You press once, it appears twice kind of thing. It's a, you press once, it resets, you press it again. Wow, this animation is fucking cool, but it's slow as hell. Yes, yeah, animation is slow as hell, man. Look at that. I know it's like, yeah, he's he's his nuke his nuke power is a lot better now. That's true, but it's slow as shit though, because of the animations. Uh, well, at least he's in Disneyland now, right? He's in Disneyland. Oh, there we go, dude. Now you have more power, dude. More power. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He's already capped, I think. He should be capped already. Yeah, that, that, that's what I was saying earlier too, is like... He's, he only hits one at a time, so it's, there's no point as well. With your, uh... What's that? Supplemental skill damage kind of thing, agonized shit. So slow, man. So slow. Yep. It's uh, his animations are. It looks cool, right? It's very, it's, you know, it's like you played Persona Five before. If you did that, it's like yeah, you see all these kind of animations in these games. Like damn, it looks sick, right? True, but like after you, you, you if you're like gonna grind with this guy and shit, and then you'll be seeing the upteen time, you, you're probably sick and tired of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> It slows the shit out of you, man. I don't think you want that. <laughs> Usually at this point, right? If you've been doing a lot of uh, your daily stuff, you kind of want to speed it up, right? You don't really want to sit there that long. You know, like, keeping track whether your full auto is done or not, isn't it? You want to finish it as fast as you can. <laughs> Rather than, oh, hey, uh, let's see more cool stuff. And then you full auto as if you're going to watch that cool shit. You're not going to be like me, right? I full auto and watch, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not like Kango is like zoom zoom either way. Kango is slow as shit too. That's why a lot of people tend to prefer not using Kango too. Uh, like they would prefer they prefer to use like Mana Diver now. They would prefer to use like the likes of um, even just going back to Viking or you know if you want like extra sustain then you go to Eatro Mantis kind of shit, right? And then there's some Relic Buster here and there. That's fine too. Yeah, people are still, like, nowadays try to, like, stray away from Kango because Kango is slow as shit. Even though Kango is good, right, because of, like, the, the perks you get out of it and, like, it helps a lot of other characters to to shine a little bit better just because, you know, they, they, they have, like, extra perk on Ogi every time, right? It helps, the, like, uh, so many other characters these days, right? So that's why Kango is still really good, but at the same time, it's annoying to use Kango. <laughs> Oh look, he can't press his third skill anymore. <laughs> but the good thing is that he didn't miss his debuff at least for his uh, S3. <laughs> right? So uh, it has permanent uh, six, uh, what 30% debuff now. <laughs> so that's, that's nice, right? <laughs> Wow, 
On the bright side, at least my uh, my Ogi looks a lot better than my previous showcase, right? <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't using like the proper right key for my opus and shit. Especially for a Kango setup. <laughs> yeah, he can. Because there's no overdrive, yeah. That's why after this, I'm also gonna do, uh, what's his name? Uh, Metatron. Hello. But yeah, if you also think about it, right? He's only usable in V1 then, right? Because there's only like some V2 that you can actually get it to overdrive right now. Oh wow, I got deleted. <laughs> wow, actually got deleted, man. Damn, dude. F. Damn, I haven't seen Forte in action for so long. Okay, this is gonna be a Forte showcase now, dude. Look at it, boys. We have Forte showcase now. <laughs> It's kind of funny how that repel thing actually saved him from uh, not dying from that turn. I really didn't think that that nuke earlier did that much damage though. That was a lot of damage, holy shit. <laughs> that did like, I think 40,000 to Jiki and MC. Am I dead too? Oh, I'm not dead yet. No. Yeah, because usually, even in full auto, I clear it anyway. But for some reason, I guess with Joker, it doesn't allow me to do it properly. Hahaha. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, bad, bad, uh, bad, uh, bad synergy. Ouch. Even he's dead, dude. Uh, now, now it's a leech showcase again, dude. Leech showcase, boys. Lead showcase, dude. Look at that. Last man, uh, uh, last, last character surviving. Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. Even how, dude? The amount of buttons he pressed, dude. This skill was one of his problems back then. But turns out they kept it as it is, because you know, persona. The persona mechanic. You cannot reload. But it doesn't really apply to this game, man. It's not good for this game. <laughs> Especially in a, in a raid where it's gonna last a while, right? And most of the time, if you're planning to use like a full auto character, it tends to last for at least like 10 turns, right? Like even like some really, really fast runs, it'll tend to last at least 10 turns. Yeah, I was thinking like maybe they could at least give him like a free reload because you know it's, it's GBF, right? It's not fucking Persona. The way the way you want to try to implement Persona's uh, game me core game mechanic in the likes of GBF, I don't think it'll work just as well because I don't think the game is supposed to be like that anyway. You're better off using other characters with Lelouch rather than this guy. Lelouch provides way more in comparison to this guy. You have to remember if you're planning to use it, so that, like, we were talking about it like a moment ago. If you're planning to use this, and then death him, you have to remember this is not like a zero cooldown skill thing. It's not. <laughs> it's two turns. So in order for you to maximize this thing, 
You need a total of 6 turns. Usually you just want to kill them off in the first turn, right? Yeah. Why else do you think I prefer Shalim? <laughs> oh yeah, why is the uh why is Chad not showing the emote? But I can see the emote. That's really weird. Let me uh, reset. Is it is it fucked on uh, API or something? Oh, there we go. Now it works. What the hell? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> now emote works on the overlay. That's kind of odd. Alright, let's see how this is, I suppose. Because now he has an overdrive, right? So technically Joker would do more too. Because of his uh, echo or whatever crap. Right? Single attack, dude. Poggies. Uh -huh. But yeah, so far he hasn't missed yet, so I guess that's good, right? I, I, I guess I guess it is actually guaranteed, huh? Yeah, I mean his 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 skill cap is actually really nice though. It's okay, but it's it needs to have multi hit though. But the multi hit they decided to give it to Joe to 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 his uh oh his his echoes is kind of nice. But like they decided to give it to was that they decided to give it to uh his third skill where it's limited amount. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh shit, double strike man, alright, time for Joker to shine dude. Look at that, time for Joker to shine. Yeah man, overdrive too man. Damn, he only got double attack out of that. Well, there goes, uh, there goes his buff now. <laughs> it's gone now. Rip. So sad. <laughs> no, honestly, I don't think this spell will really even help that much. It's like, yeah, it would be cool because he can get double this spell. I still. I still think that if they, they if they are trying to get him to be like a attacker kind of uh, character in GBF, it would be better if he's multi hit at this point. Ah. Hey. 
観念しろ無駄だ無駄だ<笑>Yeah, that's the problem too. Because Joker in Persona 5 basically is like a fucking god, right? <laughs> Isn't he like a god in the, in the actual game? Because he can do everything, right? <laughs> Because he, he has like all the different personas, he can control all these different personas, he can cast whatever he wants. <laughs> Alright, he can do everything. <laughs> But this one, he, 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 they try to do it, like, they give him, like, different, different set of skills. Like, he has a debuff, he has a nuke, he has, like, a self-buff kind of thing. But at the same time, it's, like, so jank. It doesn't really help anyone <laughs> but himself. <laughs> The only thing that's really helping everyone is his, his permanent debuff thing, and other than that, it's like. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like. They're trying they're trying too hard to make him identical to the Persona 5 version. Like, how it feels and plays in the actual Persona 5 game. But, like I said, in so many different times already. That does not work here. <laughs> if, if you try to do that, it just wouldn't work. The character just wouldn't be that great. It'll be really, really, like, mediocre at best. Well, at least he has uh, overdrive again, right? So, uh, a boy here can do damage again. Yeah, we all. Uh, don't, don't we all know that the, the, the standard are seen, like, in Persona 5 is kind of whatever, too? Didn't we, like, just immediately swap him out? Like in the actual game, too. <laughs> right? Isn't it? Because <laughs> I know that's what I did, too. Because <laughs> his, his basic one is. Uh, yeah, it's kind of whatever. It's like it's only used to be, and looks good in cutscenes, right? Other, other than that, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weak. I guess that's why he's weak, right? That's probably why. <laughs> that's his downfall. He doesn't have different personas in this game. He cannot yoink a Bahamut or something <laughs> as his persona. <laughs> Damn, look at that though. Joker got the last hit though. Joker the la got the last hit, so that means he wins, right? Look at that, man. Honestly, not that much better, is it? Dude, what? <laughs> It's actually not that much better now, is it? Yeah, so end of the day, he is garbage. Yep. And he's dark too, so he's garbage, Lamau. It would be better if they actually just changed this. It's like can immediately re instead of immediately reuse, it'll just auto cast it the moment you press this against a light foe. You know? <laughs> I'd rather they do that. <laughs> so at least it'll be a lot faster. That's all I can say for Mr. Joker. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.